What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are on day one of the My Team Festival, lads. We are on day one of what is going to probably be a, hopefully a good 10 days. Hopefully a good 10 days coming into season two. Obviously in terms of the takeover players, um, for some reason he's just not in the game yet. Um, I think maybe it's a case that... They just pre they put him in the game early into the database and he's gonna come into the game tomorrow, Mr. OG Ananobi himself. Um I think that could easily be the case instead of having three takeover players. But that's I'm kinda happy. I'm kinda okay with that. It's not the end of the world. Um But again, Kevin Johnson's a player that's pretty good. I just wouldn't go for Kevin Johnson because he's Kevin Johnson. But uh like how far am I? Nah, he's one of the easiest ones. I'm not getting him. But uh, basically, lads, in every game mode, you can now get some diamond cards. So in clutch time offline, I don't actually know who's on the wheel because you can't see the wheel. But in um, triple chat offline, Andrew Wiggins and Tony Parker are now in that game mode, which is really, really cool. So you guys can get one of those two guys. Obviously, I have Wiggins. Um, but... And does it mean that you're going to get two tokens of 1250 MT most times? Yep. But still, but still, it drastically increases your chances of getting one of these diamonds. I reckon you're probably going to get one diamond every 40 or 50 games. And I already have Wiggins. Um, I don't want Tony Parker, so I'm not too fussed on this. But it doesn't mean that it's not good. It doesn't mean it's not a good thing. I'm guessing there's no challenges for any of these guys. Obviously not in pickup. Now that I do need to get the moon ball though. But yeah, so now in, let's see unlimited. Oh lads. The unlimited vault is freaking stacked. The unlimited vault is genuinely, genuinely stacked, lads. Like no man, this is stacked, stacked, this vault right here. This vault is stacked. Like, other than two tokens, and you're gonna get two tokens a lot of the time, but I reckon you're gonna get one every three unlimited games, you're gonna get a diamond. I might bang out unlimited. I might bang out unlimited today, to be honest. I say that, but I definitely can't. I might bang out unlimited tomorrow. Tomorrow early, I'll wake up early tomorrow. I'll, I literally, I'm, go I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow because I wanna watch Messi play. I wanna watch Argentina. So I might just wake up at 10 a.m. my time and just start banging out unlimited games on the side. And like any games that I win, like when I'm using a proper squad, I'm gonna win at least two of every three. Like that's gonna be pretty nice. That one is gonna be pretty freaking nice. Um, eventually getting whatever ones I get because I don't have Kid, Camp, or Baylor. And if I get any of those three, I'm happy. Even though Baylor sucks, it's it's a new player. It's a new player. Clutch time online, obviously we, we can't see what the wheel has. And triple chat online is nothing. Wow. There's nothing in TT Online. Well, that is not great here. That is not great. I will say that the best mode to play for these surely is Unlimited. Because of all of these cards, Camp that are here, Camp is probably the best. Kid is the second best. The third best is probably like... Like, nobody sent... I haven't seen a picture of a wheel anywhere. But, like, an unlimited win probably gives you, like, a 1 in 3 chance of getting a diamond card. If you've got all of these cards, it's not the biggest deal in the world, obviously. Obviously, if you've got these three, it's, um... Like, it is what it is. It is what it is. If you've already... If you've got these three, you're probably not going to push too hard. Because I actually think Kevin Johnson is going to be really common to come out of the vault as well. I think Hollow Kevin Johnson is going to be very solid. It's going to be very much a card that will come out of the vault. But, look, this is a really, really good reason to um, to play this game. Co oh, is there anything in co-op? Yep. The three of them are in co-op. I don't know what exactly this is, but the three of them are in co-op. 
So in any game mode, like if you want to play co-op, if you want to play these, I don't know how long these are in the auction or, or you've ever seen the vault, how long they're in there for. So these are here till tomorrow. They're here till tomorrow at 4 p.m. So look, if there's been, if there's any day to play this game, it's today. If there's been any day where I'm like, look, there is a huge incentive to play this game. That day is today, lads. That day most definitely, most definitely is today for playing this game. I would say, look, what, play whatever, play whatever game mode you like to play. If you're Blazing, if you're Blazing Ricks, go play yourself some TT online or TT offline. Considering he's probably already got the 250 centerpiece. He's playing all these games on Rookie and he can definitely farm his Tony Parkers. But I would probably say Tony Parker might be the weakest of all these cards. Like, look, he's not unusable, but you do have to say that. Like, Tony Parker's Diamond, if you know anything about that card, he's barely better. Like, this card right here is barely better than this card. Um, where is he? Than this card. They're very, very similar. Yeah, like, that's why they're almost identical. So, look, it is what it is and what price is this one. But either way, either way, it's all good. I think the multiplayer ones are interesting. I think the co-op, co-op is probably going to be the easiest. You can get through the most games and have a better chance of winning. And, like, considering the fact that of the rewards, you still have Kiki Vandway and Kevin Johnson, like, five of the six co-op rewards are diamonds. So, if you are looking to farm or you're just looking for these diamonds, the best game to play is co-op. What I'm guessing is that all the multiplayer ones have the same grinds, which is Kemp, Jason Kidd, and Elgin Baylor. Clutch time, I'm guessing, has the same. The only annoying one is, is that TT Online just doesn't have... TT Online is Darren Williams. <laughs> oh, lads, Darren Williams sucks. Just the heads up. Darren Williams absolutely sucks. Like, that card was useful for... He was useful because he was really good for offline because he has Hall of Fame Floor General and Hall of Fame dimer it really does help for grinding offline stuff but there are so many players in the game now with hall of fame floor general and dimer that i would say that that's not the most relevant thing anymore but lads this was a really really good start to the week we're gonna be seeing, seeing season two takeover cards everywhere tomorrow and yeah it's a good good start to the my team festival is this some like game changing thing no but is this something that incentivizes people to boot up the game today and play the game yeah it it, it does there is more incentive to play my team today than the entire my team festival last year. Am I going to go and boot up and play the game? I reckon I will tomorrow morning. I will tomorrow morning. It is like side grinding. It makes it very much a case of if I can grind on the side, it should be pretty good. And the festival's good. The festival's good. And I think the pe uh, people that are complaining about this just... I don't even know. I don't even know. If you're thinking about that this is going to be some game-changing thing, some, like, absolutely massive, like, thing that affects everything, it's not. If you think it's a cool incentive to play on today specifically, it is. And I think that overall what they're doing with the My Team Festival does appear to be genuinely, genuinely a good thing. So, um, anyway, yeah, I'm guessing Dwight Howard is not purchasable. Original owner, he is not. Nope, he is not. But anyway, yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.